Hello friends, welcome back. This is Savalian, a software dev slash creative, and this is another dev vlog. Uh, so it's Labor Day today. I have today off and then I also took the rest of the week off with my paid time off, my PTO. And so I have a lot of plans for game development this week. And I wanted to start off by showing what I've got now and what I am actively working on. So it is Monday morning. I, well, it's 10, it's still morning. Uh, I have some pumpkin spice coffee and some pumpkin spice Oreos, breakfast of champions. And this is my game. So when I left off last time in the vlog, I had a dashboard view, uh, but I didn't have time to hook it up to the other menus and stuff in this in the game. So I've done a little bit of that. So if I start up here, I can go to the dashboard. I can click this to go to the quest screen. A lot of the back buttons do not currently work. So this will take me to the main menu. Um, so I need to fix that. Some don't even have back buttons. Like this screen doesn't have a back button, uh, but it does work. Wow, those sunglasses need to be updated, huh? Let's take those off. Um, but yeah, so the stuff works mostly. There's a little, a little links between scenes I need to fix, but for the most part, it's, it's functioning. And then as I was doing that, I realized I wanted to have, you know, different save files, user profiles. So I'm working on that right now. I just have this button right now. That just, it doesn't do anything. I also just added some other buttons in here because the ones that were in didn't really make sense given, you know, where I, what I moved into the dashboard. The first thing I'm going to do today is finish this profile stuff. So what this will do is basically let the user pick a name for a save file and then all of the unlocks and the progression and stuff will be saved underneath that name and then they can switch to different save files. So normal game stuff is what I'm doing. And then that shouldn't take too long. And after I'm done with that, I'm going to finish uh, hooking up all the things in this view so that they work. So like the quests show up, the critters show up, um, that this actually goes back the, the right way. So I'm gonna go through and fix stuff like that next. And then we're gonna get into some of the creature behavior fixes. So right now, if I go to start match, um, and I just put down some things here, what we'll see as the fight goes on is that the behaviors of some of the critters get a little bit messed up. They'll walk back and forth sometimes when they shouldn't. They'll, you know, they'll attack. Oh, they'll make a weird choice for attacking. And uh, I just want to run through a couple of games make note of those things. I already have some notes, but I want to make more notes of some of those things. And then I want to just fix them all, you know, make the battle a little bit more predictable. Um, make sure that they are behaving in a way that's not going to frustrate people because it's like broken. And then I also need to probably display what's happening on screen a little bit better. It got kind of messed up when I changed to the hex grid arena and it wasn't great to begin with. It was definitely a placeholder. It was not finished. So uh, that's kind of what I'm going to do after I get the menu stuff figured out is I'm just going to go through. I'm going to fix all these little annoying things that are wrong with the critters and I'm going to finish implementing their like scaling levels and stuff like that. That's that's the plan. I do have a lot of other things to do this week. I am also working on a second game with my, my boyfriend, my partner, and I have to do some 3D modeling for that. I did some over the weekend. It was pretty fun. And so I, I want to do a little bit of that today as well. Uh, we typically meet and discuss the project on Mondays. And then I also have my normal stream Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Even though I'm not working in my day job, I still have a lot of work to do. So I'm also, I just launched my sticker shop uh, a couple weeks ago. So I've been working on every day, just doing a little bit of like Instagram marketing kind of work. Uh, I haven't run, run any ads or anything, but just reaching out to people, connecting, making sure to post frequently. So I, I have a lot of other things on my plate other than this game, but not having to work for eight hours is going to give me a lot of extra time, as you might expect. So 
I'm going to get into this profile stuff and finish my coffee and my cookies. And I will check back in when I have a little bit more done. Okay, I'm sitting here at my computer. I've almost got the player profile stuff done, but um, what should happen when I start a brand new game with no save files is that it should ask me to name the save file and that is not happening. So I something is missing somewhere, I need to fix it. Um, also, it doesn't look like this save is loading the equipment because like this one loads a different color. So, a couple things are broken here. Um, I kind of just did a lot of coding. Like, I have all this load save nonsense here, um, but I just need to find that missing piece to get everything working together. So, I'm gonna take a quick break, take care of the animals, um, have some lunch, and then I might do my hair. I wanna bleach my roots, they're pretty grown out and I'm real scraggly today. So I may take a break to do that, but I think I'll keep pushing on this while I eat lunch so that maybe I can get this out of the way, get this working, and then my afternoon, evening can kind of be just a, just a restful one. So we'll see how far I can get with all of this um, while I eat. I think I'm gonna have pasta roni, which I'm pretty excited about. I don't know why, just I started craving it and um, I want to have some and enjoy it. So here we go. Gonna take that break and I'll check in in a little bit. Okay, I've done it. I have my character here. You can start a game. It's a little bit of lag between scene transitions. There's probably something I can do about that. So I go in here, customize player, change my little vest, maybe put some hair on. Back, we have that here. We can navigate back and forth. Now, if I close the game down, and restart, it is loading this from, from save. Everything's working. Um, there's a couple things I need to tidy up still, but I think this is a good stopping point for today. I've got the profiles working. I So far you can only have one profile. Um, I had some issues getting this little menu working, which is why it looks kind of janky. But now that it's working, I can add another button here to like create a new profile. And I should be able to switch between the two without much trouble. So, do I want to do that before I call it quits for the day? Actually, no, because you know what? I have not done my hair today, and it is almost 4 p.m., so it's basically nighttime. Uh, so I'm actually going to shift gears into personal mode and just have kind of a chill rest of the day, I think. Okay, it's Tuesday today. I played some Play Dub this morning. I can't stop. It's very addictive. Uh, as you can see, I got my hair done last night. What was I gonna say? I was gonna do blue today, on it, but I'm not sure. I might leave it like this for a little bit because I think it looks kind of nice. But I played some played up this morning because I can't stop. And now I'm going to get into some game work. The user profile is working, but I don't have a way to create a second profile. Um, so that's what I need to add just so I can test the whole system, make sure it works. Um, but everything seems to be functioning. It's saving the file correctly. It's loading up that file correctly. So I just need to add that last little piece and then we'll be done with user profiles and I'll be able to move on to um, sort of the miscellaneous bug fixes, 
smoothing things out, um, making the creature behavior a little bit more reasonable. Um, and then I also have some 3D modeling that I wanted to do today for my other game project that I'm working on with my partner. So that is the plan. Um, I'm suddenly feeling very tired. Did not feel like making a coffee this morning. The grinding seemed like too much work, but it might be worth it now. It's almost 11 and I'm feeling very sleepy. So I'm going to, I'm going to get into this game work a little bit. And then when I break for lunch, we might shake things up. Okay, I've done it. I had a little bug where when I go into this customization, I was accidentally setting the gear from the legs to the chest gear. So I was getting some weird results where if I tried to equip chest and leg gear at the same time, it just like erased both of them or the colors were weird or something. Fix that. Looking good. Um, there is no back button on the dashboard yet. I should probably add that to go back to the main menu, but we can choose our profile and actually, is this working? Hold on. Testing two. Ah, okay. It is working. Sorry. I just got confused. So we can switch our profile now and it will load up the correct character. And then we can also new game. I'll just do glob. I don't know. I'm typing with one hand. It's hard. There we go. We have a sort of blank slate here. We can go in, give them some gear. I only have a couple of options, so everything is kind of turning out looking the same. Uh, but I'll add more soon. I just, I wanted to get a lot of this working before, um, before going through and putting all the content in because that that's going to be some work and it's better to make sure the system is intact before doing that um so yeah there's there's the profiles working now if i leave and i open this up it will recognize that this was the last active profile and load it up at the start and uh, you can see i have these in here and this is a scroll view, so in theory, if I fill it up, it should scroll. Haven't tested that out yet, but we'll, we'll test that when we get to it. What am I going to do next? It's 2 p.m. Um, I should probably get that 3D modeling work done, but gosh, I'm just feeling kind of sluggish. This does usually happen to me uh, when I start these dev vlogs, is that I start them and then I'm like, eh. Now I have to do work, <laughs> but I think I'm going to push my changes up. I always make sure you're committing and, you know, keeping your code in a, in a source control somewhere just in case the worst happens um, so you can recover it. But I think I am going to switch over to that 3D modeling work. I really want to get that done. Um, no one's really waiting on me. My partner is not waiting on me. He's working on something else, but I want to get it done so I could show it off, get some feedback and, you know, just keep on, keep on trucking with that project. Okay, today is Wednesday, we're halfway through vacation week, and I think I'm gonna take a little bit of a rest today. I don't think I'm gonna focus on too much work, 
Uh, I'm just, I've been playing Plate Up this morning. I'm having fun. Got a toast restaurant or a breakfast restaurant, I guess, to uh, tier two. I don't know. I, I maybe I'll play some Final Fantasy. I think I'll do a lot of cleaning, house cleaning. So there will be work in that regard. But I think for the most part, I'm just going to chill today and I will check back in probably tomorrow with uh, more game dev. That's fun. Let's just pretend that's not there. Um, so today is Thursday, it's Thursday morning. It's, well, it's 11.15, it's almost noon. I played played up, I unlocked stir fry last night on stream, so I wanted to do the stir fry. I did a full stir fry run. It I got to day seven, five, somewhere around there. I didn't get to day ten, or overtime day ten, sorry. Overtime day like five or seven. Um, and it's really fun. I like it. I'm so excited. I just, I love this game. I won't, uh, I'll try not to talk about it too much, but um, today I want to get back into some game development. I had a nice little rest day yesterday. I played some Final Fantasy. I played some Played Up. I did my stream. I did some cleaning around the house. It's still filthy. It's still so filthy. I have more cleaning to do today because the cats are gross. They are gross. Game work. I'm going to get back into game work today. I forgot what I need to do. I think I need to finish hooking up the dashboard to like the quests and stuff and then into creature, AI, debugging, smoothing out, stuff like that. So should be, it should be pretty chill. There won't be a whole lot to look at, unfortunately, but it'll be good work and it needs to get done at some point. So uh, I am actually going to, I think, tend the animals right now because it is getting close to 1130. And if I, if I do that, I can have lunch, I could sit down, and I could just get into this game work uh, without any more interruptions. Alright, I actually did my workout before lunch, showered. Now I've got these loaded chili nachos that I'm having for lunch. And I'm going to do some of that uh, 3D modeling work that I think I mentioned. I want to do a couple little like add-ons so that we can have characters of different like fantasy races. So. I wanted to do like a cat person and a lizard person and some other stuff. So I'm going to do models for like horns and tails and get those uh, positioned and swapping in and out so that I can make sure it all looks good. Okay, today is Friday, and I think I'm going to end the dev vlog here today. I got the dashboard hooked up to the quests and the critters, and I actually devised um, a way to sort of load color swatches uh, in little squares for the, um, the creature critter skins, because I didn't want to just render out the whole critter in all these different places, like in the selection screen and in the dashboard. Um, so basically what I'm doing is I'm checking which color is set in the skin and I'm just loading up a swatch um, based on the position, if that makes sense. I don't know if that didn't make sense. It's a little early, it's only 10. Uh, I got up at 7 this morning <laughs> because I suck at sleeping in. And now I think I'm ready to get into some work for the day. What do I actually have to do? I think just working on AI bug fixing now, I think everything else is hooked up um, so you can sort of go through the flow of the game between each scene and now I need to get back to the actual gameplay and start, um, you know, hammering out some of the bugs in there. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I think first thing I'm going to do, which I should probably do more of, is just play through a couple of rounds or a couple of matches and just see what I feel like will improve it the most. Uh, see what I feel like is missing or what is the most like intrusive little finicky bug and then fix that first and then I'll just keep doing that um, until I'm too tired to keep working. 
Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I think it'll be nice. It, it'll be kind of a chill thing. Um, because it's not like heavy design work. It's just like, you know, tinkering. And I already decided later I'm gonna get a pumpkin spice latte. And I'm really excited about that. I just have to wait for my boyfriend to wake up. But um, once he's up around like maybe one or two, um, I think we're gonna go get some coffee. So that'll be like my my hard cut off where I need to sort of shut everything down because I'm gonna leave the house. But until then, I kind of just have the whole day ahead of me. Okay, hello, welcome to the big reveal. Everything I got done in the past week. Um, end of the vlog. So what we're looking at here basically is the dashboard, which is something I did a lot of work on, even if some of that work is not super obvious. Uh, but we're actually going to start at the menu scene, if I can remember where, there we go. Whoops, wrong one. <laughs> okay, so one of the big things I did uh, during this little dev vlog was add player profiles. I showed these off a little bit uh, earlier in the vlog, but basically I can create a new game. I could give that profile a name, so I could just do like log character and then that creates a new character um don't worry about all these i need to work on some of this stuff but uh basically i can go in here i can customize i can put things on the character like that it will save um and everything will be good i can generate some quests by going here i can see those there and that's that's pretty much that so um another cool thing is that i have all these menus hooked up so you can go back you can look at it you can go back um it's not very pretty the ui is still very much a work in progress uh, i kind of picked some colors that i wanted and that was the extent of the ui design that i did on any of these screens especially this one this one's pretty bad I'm sorry that you have to look at this with the default Unity, like, sunrise scene thing. What else? What else? So if I go back out to the menu, I can also choose... Well, first, I can just continue if I have the right profile selected. I can also choose a different profile. This is the one I've kind of been testing on, Glob. Um, none of these buttons do anything. Uh, the exit works, but only in a full build of the game. It doesn't work in the editor. Um, so let's just continue as glob. So you can see, um, I have added these meta borbs. Uh, basically, borbs are the currency that you use to summon new units in the game. And then these meta borbs are like... It's, they're used to unlock stuff. So the idea is that you'd unlock critters. Um, I... I haven't got the unlock working in this menu correctly, but... Oh, okay, apparently they've all been unlocked. That might be a bug. I'm going to write that down. But basically, um, some of the critters are going to be locked from default, or by default. And then in some menu somewhere, you'll be able to click a button to spend metaborbs to unlock them. I also got this little thing here, which shows the colors of the skin that you currently have selected for that critter. So the deer is not working because I have not selected a skin for the deer. I don't think I set any up actually, but if I go into the armadillo tank um, here, I can pick, let's see, I've been using um, this one a lot. Let's pick this fire engine red one. And now if we go back, we see we have the emission color, which is a dark orange, the red, and the black. I didn't actually get to the level up implementation for critters, so I can't actually finish these two quests. That's another thing, too, is that I, I want to check and not spawn the same quest. So that's something I still need to do. It's on my, on my list. Uh, what else? I think... Uh, I mean, this was kind of a lot it doesn't look like a lot because it all kind of happens behind the scenes but oh another thing i did um let's do this quest real quick so summon the following critters boar deer and peacock so let's do that we'll go we'll hit ready and one thing i did um fix 
was previously when a when a critter died they would just sort of stay dead <laughs> which is not intended uh they're supposed to respawn at the end of the little round and come back for the next round but um what was actually happening was that they when they die they they do this dissolve thing like you just saw it there for a second and the dissolve was never getting undone so they were still there but they were invisible and it had to do with some timing i had some timing issues with the death animations and the dissolve animation um so i i tweaked that i fixed it hopefully it's all working so our little peacock friend died they should come back at the end of the round and be part of the team again so let's just watch real quick yep there they are okay i can move move critters so i have all three that i need let's just add another healer and another tank and i think we should be able to win with this one thing i'm noticing that i need is just a little bit more feedback on how strong your units are compared to the enemies i obviously need to fix some of the ai here they're just kind of standing in one clump and not facing the right direction not quite sure what happened there it might be from the grid changes that i did where i changed it to be a hex grid instead of the like radial grid i had before but you know there's always something to fix and i'm i'm just going to keep working on it this is what i've got so far this should be the last round i believe but as i was saying i i need some visual evidence of like how hard the dps are hitting you know how much damage the tanks are taking stuff like that i think i just need to give the player a little bit more to work with when they're strategizing uh, because it's not super clear it, it does look a little bit random uh you know the outcome of the fight so i've won i can continue it does take me back to the menu i forgot to to direct it to the dashboard this is apparently not working this must be a different quest type technically what i did fix was the one that has you summon certain creatures on the board at the same time this one i think is slightly different it's just summon at any time and it looks like i didn't get that hooked up so we don't get to see the quest completion in action but i did add a little bit to that so you can complete the quest from here if they give meta borbs uh which most of them do because i don't have a lot of unlocks uh in the game right now uh you can see it tick up here and that's pretty much everything so some next steps for me is uh, finish getting some of these little quest things done that don't quite work right now add some more skins and unlockables and things so that i can properly test out like the progression and stuff um, obviously before i release this game i'm gonna need a lot more just a lot more content in general um, so that's not really what i mean i just i need a little bit more bulk to test with um, especially if I want to test like a longer running save file and just make sure it, it continues to save and work correctly. Uh, and then one thing I don't think we saw in the game is that the ranged enemy DPS still has just a little bit of a weird... <laughs> it attacks too fast, I think. And also the visuals are all messed up. They don't spawn at the right time. They don't have the right material on them. That's another thing I need to uh, fix. Uh, but for the most part, we're moving along. Like, I have so much of the menu done that the rest of the work is really going to be mostly, like, in the game, in the in the auto chess part of the game. And then also just, um, you know, making things look a little better, adding more content, starting to see how things feel as from a player's perspective now that we have sort of a cohesive experience here apologies if my voice is like <laughs> a little wobbly it is actually uh 10 a.m so i shouldn't be tired but i am because the sky is a dark orange today because of some smoke that was blown in from uh, i think eastern oregon maybe um so i 
I didn't get out of bed because I thought it was really early in the morning. And so I just slept. I just slept in. I don't like sleeping in though because it makes me feel like I've missed out on part of the day. As, you know, as illogical as that is, sleep is important. I'm getting off topic. Um, that's it for this vlog. I did quite a bit on my vacation. I, I don't feel like I stressed myself too much, but I got a lot done and things are really shaping up. I've also been doing some work for the other game that I'm working on with my partner. Um, this game I'm working on by myself, but my partner and I are working on another game. It's going to be kind of like a school management, like a fantasy school management game, but it's super, it's super, super early. Don't wait around for that. But I was able to get some 3D modeling done for that, get a little bit of input on some of the features, and that's starting to spin up as a project so that's kind of exciting but thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this dev vlog i hope it was fun for you it was fun for me and i think i might do a little 3d modeling video next what do you what do you think about that let me know in the comments what sorts of videos you'd like to see uh if you did enjoy this don't forget to subscribe because i will be back soon with another video and i hope to see you there Bye-bye. Look, I'm waving. Bye.